Oh man, instead. Well, instead, it's so funny because this one I think I literally, I must have had the chord progression, but, and I don't do this very often, and believe me, I'm, I'm not unattentive at my work, but I do sometimes, anybody, you know, get sidetracked or daydreams a little bit. I was upstairs on a Monday, I was working remotely, and I decided to um, just, I, I came up with the melody and the lyrics for this part right here, never quite beginning the life I really want instead. I don't know how, but this whole vocal part just came to me, like sitting at my desk at work. And I think part of the reason it did is like, as much as I am thankful for my job and I'm very happy where I am, um, I thought it was a cool message because I am in this position where as happy as I am and fortunate as I am, I do want to be able to do this full time and uh, there are things that are holding me back and this song is sort of about those limitations and inabilities to do so and things that hold you back and holding out my hope of the possibility to be you is uh, just sort of like, you know, leaning into the concept of like not being able to do both music, even though I am, it's, it's a cool concept because a lot of people don't think they can. And, uh, and the thing I'm talking about is, you know, not being a rock star, but doing music full time. And uh, struggle, stable, boy, trouble, hope, fate, enjoy. I, I thought it'd be cool to have like a, like a simple chorus and it'd be kind of basic and just monotone, sort of like low volume, low octave, and have the, not volume, but, and then have the solo come in, which is kind of just like a formulaic, short, but like catchy guitar solo. Um, and I wrote this song in detuning and this whole thing so that you can only play the solo exactly. If you want to learn how to play the solo by, by Carter Brady, whatever, um, you have to tune your guitar down a whole step. And so I kind of did that because I think for guitar heads out there, it does change the sound a little bit. It, it makes a difference when you do something different. And then I made the last chorus loud. And um, there's not a lot of tracks on here. I, I tend to really like double the crap out of a lot of guitars, almost too much. But I've learned to take it back a little bit. But there's, I recorded one of the guitars on a Les Paul, the other on my Gibson ES335. Um, but there's like an octave thing that comes in. And I love, you're gonna hear this in a lot of the shopping cart songs if you haven't already, but I really have tried to make the octaves and the B string, like E, open E, ring outs, like my signature sound, and I'm definitely proud of it. And then like a cool like harmony guitar thing at the end that kind of pulls it all full circle. But ultimately instead is about, um, you know, the insecurities and the inability or, or loss of hope to, to do something you love full time and not quite getting there yet, but sort of struggling through it. And um, like I said, I love, love where I am now, but it's certainly a cool topic and uh, relatable message to a lot of people out there who are in my position as a, you know, uh, an indie artist trying to, to make sense of things in the world. So that's instead. Um, also the beginning bass part, I think uh, definitely is, uh, could be iconic someday, I'm kidding. It's, uh, it's cool, I definitely was happy with this intro and I ultimately had Mike play, just play it on bass and him and Sam play the drums for this. This is the demo bass and drums, but um, you can hear it at the beginning. Um, which I just thought was cool, like to start a song. I'd never done that before, so it's pretty simple. But anyway, different song, and this has the major seventh chords. Um, again, like not a super complex song, but it's uh, certainly a good second song for the album, and it's different than we're talking, different vibe and everything. So.